Hi everyone, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fabian Adrian. If it's your first time stopping by, thank you so much and please watch this video to the end, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber as well, thank you so much. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for always commenting. Please don't also forget to like and always give my videos a thumbs up. It shows that you guys are watching today's video it's going to be another collaboration with another youtuber who is also based in the uk her name is simply josie you have to check her out all right so simply josie is a mommy youtuber and she does family food and lifestyle she also does relatable topics so guys if you want to find out anything also about marriage family I think her channel is the best place to go to. So I'm going to be making the yam porridge, also known as asaro. But there's going to be a little twist to it. And I'm sure that you guys would enjoy it. So if you want to know how I made this very sweet, delicious lockdown yam porridge, aka asaro with spinach. Keep watching as I show you the ingredients I use for this recipe. I also have some onion, white onion, um, bell pepper, tomatoes, and garlic. I have my spinach, I have my palm oil, I have my vegetable oil, I have my yam, and I'm using one third of uh, an average size tuber of yam. Okay, you guys, as you can see, my yam is already boiling, and I have my tomato and pepper mix on the other side. For the yam, I'm going to be adding some of my seasoning to it so that the yam would absorb it while it boils. And then I'll go ahead to add one seasoning cube. Then I add the second seasoning cube into my mix and fry. so my yam has been cooking for a while now i'm just going to add some pepper mix and then i will stir to make sure everything mixes together i'm adding my salt i'm just putting my salt now and i will now finally add my grounded pepper When your yam is finally cooked, all you need to do is mash a little to have the porridge. Not like seriously, you can see what I'm doing. And stir up everything together. I obviously washed my spinach and chopped them before putting it in. So if you don't have spinach, you can use ugu or saint leaves or whatever thing you have. Even kale is fine. Ngwa just let go do this meal just look at it see how beautiful it is the way it looks beautiful that is the same way it tastes great on a norm it's going to take me less than 20 minutes to make this meal but because i decided to film this recipe it looked like it took forever right so let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section okay so don't forget to go check out simply Josie's channel I promise you will not regret your time as she has a lot of content that she has created and she's always willing to share and give advices. Thank you again for watching. Until next time. Bye.